Howdy. Hi, everybody. Dan, Dan's Custom Hot Rods, Wichita, Kansas. <coughs> no, not an update. Not an update on the Monza. Unfortunately, at this point, the Pro Street Monza build is for sale as of right now, this weekend, whatever. Um, call it a divorce sale. <laughs> um, whatever you want to call it. The wagon build is for sale. No motor, no transmission. This is going to be the rolling chassis car itself. The small block that you see and the turbo 400 transmission, they are for sale separately. So, this is a power steering car. Um, we're about halfway done on the build anyways. Um, pass the uh, driver's side here. Is the body is near perfect, unscratched. <clears throat> Car top rack has no rust on it. Chrome has no rust on it. All the glass is perfect. So you're talking a really, really good shaped car for 43 years. I don't know. I don't, I'm not that great at math. Anyways, <laughs> so. Let's take a quick walk through. Um, look, see, and we're going to show you where we're at. Okay, so the dash, the steering wheel is not going to be there. Don't worry about it. It's going to get changed. Floorboard, front floorboards. Well, the only floorboards on the front, <laughs> they're fully welded in. Uh, frame rails. Are fully welded in the rear frame fully welded in ladder bars no I do not have the coil over shocks they were supposed to get done either this month or next month the 9 inch rear end is a housing only okay for the moment it came out of a different car so it's not quite cut correctly to fit this car. It's not even welded in. It's just tacked up for mock-up currently. <clears throat> so the shock mount brackets are both here. All you need is a set of what they call <coughs> um, Hot rod shocks, uh, hot rod coilovers on eBay. Uh, last time I checked, they're about three twenty for the pair. Um, I've had them on multiple vehicles. So, um, anyways, frame rails, two by three box, blah blah, all done. It's fully welded. The rear end is hanging in there because I was going to basically uh, extend the housing out on each side about two inches um, never got that far the fuel cell goes with it it's included it's a 20 gallon anti-foam all that shit um, the ladder bar or the uh, shock mount the top shock mount brace is right there no I did not install it yet because I was waiting for the coilover shocks before I put those in. I do have the brackets for the shocks. All I have everything but the shocks. So you literally have all you have to do is buy a set of three hundred dollar shocks on eBay, um, street rod, whatever you want to call it, shocks, and put the cross member in, put the brackets on, measure it out, be done. Now. This is going to be a rolling chassis car. So what you see is what you get. The white 
wheels and tires are my mock-up tires. You will get a set of tires, but they're not going to be this set. I've got them outside. I will change them out tomorrow because I need to get them done. Ladder bars, everything you see here. Steering wheel, transmission, motor. Do not go. This is a roller. Just like you see it, except the wheels will be different, so we'll have the same tires. This quarter panel needs a little bit of help. Had a dent when I finally got down to it. So, <clears throat> this thing, you'll need a trailer. And a winch. I've got a winch here if you need to roll it on. It will roll just fine. So, uh, let me go back here for a second because I got something last week that changes the tune. This is... A five lug rotor setup, S10 style. Um, we're gonna change the well. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Whoever buys the car does it. They go with the car again. Uh, it changes the front four lug to five lug. Uh, Monza.com, I think, is who it is. Has a bushing kit that simply pops together and literally you change these spindles out boom magically delicious you got five lug all the way around so now let me explain on the monza wagon the monza wagon is going to be i'm asking forty five hundred dollars for the roller full pro street Yes, cash talks. So if you've got cash and you want a Pro Street Monza wagon build, it would roughly take you about $2,500 total to finish this. Sheet metal, axles, disc brakes, wheels and tires, shocks, all that stuff. Um... The, I, I pretty much got the rear end down to a science because I build my own. Uh, everything comes off eBay, except for the strange axles I get at Summit Racing. Just street axles are $400 for a set. Um, you need a pumpkin, blah, blah. You need the it done. $4,500 for the wagon. Less motor and transmission, unless you choose... To cough up the money for those as well so at the moment the wagon the roller is forty five hundred dollars now that's not to say that you want to pay for it up front and pay me to finish the car here at my shop I can do that um, just the parts alone are going to be about $2,500 for the rear end, um, wheels, tires, gears, blah, 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 sheet metal, all that stuff. Yeah, it's going to be roughly about $2,500 more to finish it. Unless you want to take it and get it finished and spend another couple 5000 Hey, be my guest. I don't care. Anyways, the rollers, $4,500. I do have a Kansas title for it. Now, on to the small block. Um, this is a 1990 Corvette engine. I've had it for about 15 years. Uh, about two or three years ago, I went through the whole thing, freshened it up, re-ringed, re, -ringed, re -banged, Brand new camshaft. I think it's a 480 or 520 lift. It was fuel injected at one time. I bought the bigger camshaft because it's no longer fuel injected. Um, so I think it's 520 lift. It is a roller camshaft. It's a factory roller from 90. Okay. Obviously, we're missing a couple rollers, roller rockers. It's a full set for $100 on eBay. So what? Cry me a river. Um, 
This has aftermarket Dart Iron Eagle 215 iron heads. So this isn't going to be cheap. Everything in it, the timing set, the camshaft, um, re-ringed and re checked, blah, blah. It's brand new from top to bottom. Yes, it's dirty because I've had it on a stand for about two years. It has not been started. So I'm asking $2,500 for the small block Chevy. It used to be what's called a tuned port Vortec engine. It's no longer. Everything's been changed. The heads are different. The heads are uh, back to small block Chevy uh, perimeter bolts, not center bolts. This was a center bolt setup. So, <coughs> literally, this has been upgraded and updated. I'm asking $2,500. As it sits, as it is. The Turbo 400 transmission is a core transmission. It needs to be rebuilt. 400 bucks. Take it or leave it. 400 bucks for the transmission. I'm not shipping it. I'm not shipping the engine. Okay? Come and get it. It's not my problem. Um, those are sold separately. If you want the car, motor and transmission, basically a complete car, that's the price. Um, th th that's what it is. Take it or leave it. Uh, the motor, well, you know, cash talks. Well, the car, <laughs> cash talks. Um, $4,500 for the car. You know, I'll be willing to play a little bit of negotiating. The motor, 2500 bucks. Again, I'm a fair person. Um, but you're not going to get this without a fight. And that's just the way it is. So, um, there you are. Um, Monza Pro Street Wagon for sale. And... Let's talk about it. So, um, see if we can do some business. If you want a nice little cool custom, let me see if I can get over here and give you a number. So, there's the number. You know the sign. Text me. Um, hit me up on Facebook. Um, leave me a message right here on YouTube. Let's sell this car. Okay? Thank you. Dan's Custom Hot Rods, Wichita, Kansas. Monza is for sale.